For Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus three hours and holding. We are now in the final five hours of the countdown for the launch of Space Shuttle Endeavor on a NASA sponsored microgravity research flight. The countdown is being controlled from firing room one at the Launch Control Center, and we are on schedule for a liftoff at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. This is the 11th flight for Endeavour and the 77th mission of the Space Shuttle program since launches began in April 1981, 14 years ago. And the 52nd since return to flight in 1988. This uh, STS-77 mission has a planned duration of 10 days, 0 hours, 37 minutes if all goes as planned with the landing expected to occur at Kennedy Space Center on the morning of May 29th at approximately 7.07 .07 a.m. Eastern Time, assuming an on-time launch today. The five-member flight crew of Endeavour are being awakened at this time at the astronaut quarters, and in approximately a half hour, they will be entering the dining room for breakfast, after which they will have a weather briefing and receive a status on the countdown activity. They will then go to the suit up room and don their launch and entry suits. And at 3.10 a.m. they will depart the crew quarters for the 20 minute ride out to launch pad 39B at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. Weatherwise, we continue to have very favorable conditions for a launch today. Just a 10% chance of not meeting our launch weather criteria due primarily to the slight chance of an offshore shower out in the ocean moving onshore around the Cape vicinity, but with the two and a half hour launch window, there is ample time to wait for a shower to pass. And here are all six of our STS 77 crew members ready for breakfast and our traditional cake on the table. At the end, mission specialist Dan Birch, our flight engineer on this mission. Kurt Brown, our pilot on this flight, will be busy with numerous rendezvous activities, along with our commander, John Casper making his fourth flight into space today. Mission Specialist Mario Runco making his third trip into space. Mission Specialist previously in 1991 and 1993. And Andy Thomas from Australia, our payload commander during the flight from Australia and uh, Canadian Mission Specialist Mark Garneau. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus three hours and holding, where we're in the suit-up room now with the astronauts. We just saw our commander, John Casper, and here is pilot Kurt Brown. And here is mission specialist Andy Thomas. Our commander once again, John Casper. And here is... Dan Birch making his third flight. He flew previously on STS-51 in 1993 and STS-68 in 1994. Here is uh, Canadian mission specialist Mark Garneau. He'll be doing a number of microgravity research position uh, experiments, particularly with the aquatic research facility. And here is Mario Runco making his third trip into space. 
He was on uh, STS 44 in 1991 and STS 54 in 1993. And here are our astronauts now, just uh, leaving the suit-up room, headed for the elevator. On the third floor of the operations and checkout building located in the KSC industrial area. And Director of Flight Crew Operations Dave Liesma is with them. Bob Cabana will be flying the weather reconnaissance this morning. And here they come. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 2 hours, 41 minutes, 52 seconds and counting, where we've just seen the STS-77 astronauts come off the elevator on the fixed service structure, and uh, they will be walking across the orbiter access arm to board Endeavour. Mission specialist and Canadian astronaut Mark Garneau in the picture now, making his third uh, or second trip into space. Here in the firing room, we're getting ready now for the final pre-flight alignment of the inertial measurement units on board Endeavour. TTNC OTC. Go ahead. I'll kick off a fly down. CDR OTC. Go. Stand by to perform final air to ground voice check. Jim, the MMT is working, no issues. You're cleared to launch. Copy that. And Endeavour? Zeus, you and your band have a great mission, and we'll see you back here in nine days. Jim, we thank you for all the great work you folks have done, and we're ready to go fly. And NTD, you're clear to launch. DRT and what? CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. And we're now activating the firing chain on the solid rocket booster and external tank range safety system. Yeah, let's just go for orbital access arm retract. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system is activated. 
range safety command systems are armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor to develop the practical and the beneficial aspects of space. Roger all, Endeavor. Houston now controlling. Endeavor's underway on its 11th trip to space. Currently rolling on course for an east-northeast east trajectory away from the Kennedy Space Center toward a 39-degree inclination, 153 nautical mile altitude orbit. Endeavor already traveling 430 miles per hour. Altitude, 2 miles. Three engines on board Endeavour have now throttled back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Endeavour speed now 700 miles per hour, altitude four and a half miles, two and a half miles east-northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour, go with throttle up. Up. Three engines on Endeavour now back at full throttle. Altitude 10 miles. Endeavour traveling 1,400 miles per hour. Eight miles east northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. One and a half minutes since launch. Endeavour's already used more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. The spacecraft weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. One minute, 50 seconds since liftoff. Endeavour now traveling 2,700 miles per hour. Altitude 24 miles, 24 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Flight controller standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Tristan, Endeavour has you loud and clear. What a ride. Boy, that was great, and we're going to work now. Sounds good, Endeavour, and we're right there with you. Downlink. Yes, we have good uh, TV on the mid-deck. Okay, good. And uh, I'm going to hold the needle up to you. And as I was pushing it in, I felt a little resistance. I thought it was the septum that I was going through, but it you can see what happened. I don't know if I'm too close right now. You can tell me to back up or not. Yeah. 
In view, uh, in this view of the Kennedy Space Center is the shuttle landing facility runway, visible as uh, the long mark there on Cape Canaveral. Endeavour currently at an altitude of 176 statute miles.